said to so many people who pay no attention, why do I always get a cameo? Why can't I have at least a supporting role? Or, why can't I be the star? So, you can see what we're leading up to. We have a new show, and guess who's one of the stars? You! Now, this is Andy Hayward, who is my partner, and he's one of the producers of the show, and he used to be much heavier than this, but I kept beating him, I want to roll, I want to roll. Finally, he said, okay. This man here, who the hell are you? Some days I forget. I'm Ted Biaselli, VP of Programming for the Hub Network. The Hub Network! That's where the show will be. It's a cartoon, an animated movie, which will appear on the Hub Network. After that, it will, of course, be a live-action movie. After that, it'll be a series on television. After that, I'll be far too important to address you anymore. I won't have time. And now Andy will kill me if I don't give him the mic. And I don't want to be killed. Don't go away. I'll be back. Ted, do you want to start things off? How do you follow that? Jeez. Um, so like I said, I'm Ted, Ted Maselli, VP of Programming for The Hub. Um, we have a couple of shows that you guys may have heard of. My Little Pony, hey, Friendship is Magic. Back. Look at that! Wow. Why am I facing this way? <laughs> <laughs> All right, sorry about that. Uh, we have shows like the Emmy Award winning R.L. Stein's The Haunting Hour. We have the Aquabat Super Show. And, and as if our network couldn't get any cooler, we have the world premiere of the first animated movie starring Stan Lee himself. Do we need to tell them the title? Andy, them the title? Andy you tell the title. The title is called Stan Lee and the Mighty Seven. The Mighty Seven. Inside here in Kamikaze, it's known as the acronym SLAM7. SLAM7, that's how we refer to it. These acronyms are cool. There is one thing you're going to be disappointed about. I might as well let you have it now, get it over with. In this movie, even though there are seven superheroes besides me, not besides me, I mean, working with me, I do not have a superpower in this movie. Don't turn away, hide your tears, it's okay, it's still a good role. Go! Ted, do you want to start off with the question so Stan yeah, can tell the backstory? Right. So, the idea for this movie came to... <laughs> came to us, uh, when Andy came to the hub and said, we've got this great idea for a movie starring Stan Lee, I said, go on. And then they actually told me the story, and it started with the idea of Stan having writer's block. So Stan, what happens when you get Come writer's on. block? Writer's block, Stan Lee? This proves that the story is fiction. I have never had writer's block. I can always think of a story. It might be a lousy story, but I can always think of it. But in this story, can I tell a little how it goes? Of all places, I go to the offices of R.G. Comics. And oh, by the way, this is the world's first reality animated cartoon movie, because we use real people and real names. So I go to R.G. Comics, and I talked to the head of Archie Cummings. I forgot his name. John Goldwater. <laughs> Who are you again? And um, I say, I haven't been able to write anything lately. I've got writer's block. Now you know that the story is fiction. So he says, well, until you come up with a good idea, I can't buy anything. And I'm very depressed. I get in my car, which of course is a late model expensive vehicle, and I go driving off into the desert to try to think of an idea. I've got to come up with something that I can sell. Now, here comes the part. While I'm in the desert alone, 
a spaceship comes along and crash lands right near me. And seven super-powered aliens get out of the ship. They look kind of human, but they each have a superpower, and I hire them. And, and I decide they will do all kind of superpower things, and I will write about those things, and everybody will think I'm making up the stories, but I'll get the stories from these guys. Now admit it, you never heard a stupid a plot in your life. <laughs> but we sold it to the network, and it turned out to be great. Everybody's excited about it. We have some of the best voice actors in the business playing the roles. There's Jim Bellucci, there's so many who will have them later, I'm sure. And it's going to be, out of this silly thing, we've got this great thing called Slam 7, and when will it start? Uh, 2014, we will announce the, the premiere date, early 2014. Um, do you want to, well, since Stan started talking about the cast, I think today we are going to announce the cast of Stan Lee and the Mighty Seven. Oh yeah, you got to meet him, right there. Um, so I think we should start with our hero, uh, strong arm right there. Boy, I look good. <laughs> are, are we going to put the pictures of yeah, the real do. people we up? Have the, we have so, the, the cast. Okay, so the first character is on the right. On Forgive his, me for turning my back. On the right, on his knee, next to Stan with the blonde hair, and his name is Strong Arm. And strong arm is played by Army Hammer. Many, How about that? Many of you will remember Army from the uh, the social uh, the, the social network, and uh, of course uh, his lady love back there with the wings uh, is Silver Skylark, played by Lois Lane herself, Terry Hatcher. We don't get around. <laughs> Up in the top corner on the left, that is a rollerball, and that is played by Flea from Red Hot Chili Peppers. Uh, above Strong Arm is uh, Laser, Laser Lord. Lord, and Laser Lord is played by Christian Slater. So, as you can see, we've got a really spectacular group of people that have come into this series and uh, have wanted to be in this because they heard Stan himself was in it. And paying so much to these actors, <laughs> there's nothing left for me. I frankly wrote the thing free. Okay. We'll talk later. Okay, up on, up on the top right-hand corner in the sky is Skylark, and Skylark is played by... That's Terry Hatcher. Oh, I'm sorry, that is, uh, excuse me, Skylark is, uh, blah, 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 I'm having a mental block. I'm thinking That's of my... Right. That's very good. Yeah. Lady, 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 Lady Lightning. Lady Lightning, excuse Lady me. Lady Lightning in played, red and yellow. Played by Maya Bialik. And then uh, at the bottom, uh, bottom left is Kid Kinergy, who is played by Darren Chris. Uh, Kid Kinergy is Darren Chris, and Micron, his brother, which is on Stan's shoulder, is Sean Astin. So, so we've got a cast of nerd crit, yeah? <laughs> so and I play me. <laughs> and, and it's a little bit of the ransom of Red Chief because Stan figures he's got all these wonderful characters and he's going to turn them into superheroes and all he has to do now is document their stories. But of course, they don't want to do what he tells them to do. They want to hang out at the mall and the clubs and the this and that and he's trying to keep them in line so that they play the part they're supposed to play. So it's uh, all the conflict that comes from that. And Stan, uh, even though he's uh, a little bit shy, we got him to uh, do the spectacular voices that he does. And we call him One Take Stan, because when we got him in the studio, literally every single line, he ad-libbed them, he made them his own words perfectly, and uh, there was no retakes of any kind. So it's if I had known you'd be so good up here on the stage, I wouldn't have invited you. <laughs> 
son of a gun. You're better than me. I don't want to talk to you. When I when I was a kid, when I was a kid, and I would hear, you know, Spider-Man and his amazing friends every morning. You know, hear greeting superheroes. You would hear that in your head, and to actually have an entire movie where he narrates and throws in these one-liners, it's hilarious. Never so mind narrates. I act in there. And he acts, and he's funny. Stan, should we show them a little clip, a tease from the movie? I haven't seen it myself. Well, well, you're oh, gonna see we go. something right now. So let's let it roll. That's me. <laughs> Sounds easy, right? Wrong. An alien. This is great. His name could be Razor King. No, no. Razor Boy. Shut up, ancient one. <laughs> The round one is Roller Man, for, for obvious reasons. Do I really seem that rotund to you? She's like a, a, a silver skylark. Sorry, but you've become a nuisance. Earth? I've heard this place is a primitive donkey. She would be Lady Lightning. Wow, you are one fast woman. He'd be called Kid Kinergy. But the ship is fried! We're stuck here! And that guy I'll call Strongarm. Stay where you are. Who are you? Doesn't matter. I know who you are. I'll call you Micro. Welcome to Earth. You want to be famous? Uh-oh, I hear helicopters. We've got to go. Report! I want to know what's going on up there. Everyone, hang on. I want to know who's driving that car. Like I said, you never know when inspirational strike. Do we want to share anything else at this point? Do we want to share anything else? Do you want to take some questions? What if they're difficult questions? Well, you can <laughs> answer them if they're tough. All right, if anybody, although I don't know what questions you can have, you've seen it all. We've revealed everything. There's no more mystery left. Just be sure you tune into the hub when the show opens and tell every human being on earth that you know to tune in also. It's the least you can do for us inviting you here. <laughs> that's the marketing plan, right there. I mean, that's all you need. You need Stanley to tell you to do it. Better do it. <laughs> all right, any question? Don't make the questions difficult. It's been a tough day and I had to sit and watch that a hundred times. And... All any, right, first question. Any questions? Of course, you silly person. <laughs> Absolutely. Do you have any cameos in upcoming Marvel movies? Every one of them. Oh, wait. 
let me tell you the real reason they give me the cameos. It's a financial reason. That's why the movies make so much money. For this, for this reason, the cameos are very brief. Now somebody might be reaching for some popcorn or talking to the neighbor and they miss the cameo because they're so brief. What do you do if you miss my cameo? You run to the box office, you buy another ticket because you don't want to miss it. That's why every movie would only have made half as much money if not for my cameo. That's a little secret that nobody knows. It's going to be a movie. Actually, it's going to be three movies. It's a trilogy of three movies that will all appear on the hub. Correct. Will there be Stan Lee action figures? There are. Yes. No, but there'll be more. <laughs> I'm sorry, go ahead. I interrupted you. You were about to speak. The answer was a simple yes. <laughs> Anyone else? Uh, there's actually two villains in the movie. One you saw, Mr. Cross, played by Jim Belushi. The other, that is not revealed yet, will be played by Michael Ironside. A super villain. The weirdest what? I'm closer over here. Who's the weirdest character you've ever made? Gosh, they're all pretty weird. <laughs> By the way, you have such good hearing, I couldn't hear a thing of it. The weirdest character. Maybe Willie Lumpkin, if you know him. And those who don't know Willie Lumpkin, attorney to the neighbor. What did he say? Who, who, Willie Lumpkin? who is Willie Lumpkin? Who is Willie Lumpkin? Willie Lumpkin is the mailman. In, in Fantastic Four. I'm, I'm a nerd, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> No, if you don't know who Willie Lumpkin is, I want you to buy a lot of Marvel comics, old ones. <laughs> Go to my counter somewhere and buy them, and you'll find out. <laughs> yes, sir. Will there be a new Spider-Man movie? You silly person. <laughs> of course there will. They're shooting it right now, and wait till you see my cameo. <laughs> That's it. We're just getting started. Okay, we'll take a couple more. How about this gentleman here? What's your favorite cameo? The one that I'm going to do in Stan Lee's Mighty Set. Oh, no, that's not a cameo, the Mighty Set. <laughs> and my favorite cameo. You know, I, to be serious, I think my favorite one was in one of the Spider-Man movies when I say to Peter Parker, see, one man can make a difference. Because that was dramatic. And you see, here are three men who are making a difference. We're trying to con you into seeing the Mighty Seven. But you're going to do it for us, and you're going to do it because you know you're going to enjoy it. Do you have any advice for anybody that wants to be a comic book writer? Yeah, write some good comic book stories. <laughs> I know, there's no way to there's no way to give you advice. You gotta contact the editor of whatever publisher you, you favor and find out what he's looking for and see what you can do. Let's take this young man. Yes, sir. Will there be any video games based on this? There will be video games, and there will be a, a number of other products that will be out there in the marketplace, yes. See, he's the guy who makes those decisions. I just talk to audiences, and then they get rid of me while they do the heavy stuff. Raise your hand and ask him if you get his autograph. All right. Aside from this one, will there be any other animated movies? Aside from this, will there be any other animated movies? Well, not at the moment, because we're concentrating totally on Stan Lee's Mighty... Although, wait a minute, there is one, yes. We're doing one about an Indian hero called Chaka at Pow Entertainment. 
and that'll be out. It's going to be on the Cartoon Network in India. Then it'll be all over the world. But you got to concentrate on this. We'll have another panel for chakras. I'm done. Right now, the word is Stanley's Mighty Seven. Yeah. Yeah. Her, her little brother wants to say hi, and he's your biggest fan. Well, little brother, hi to you. <laughs> Thank you. What's that? Oh. Out of the Mighty Seven, who's your favorite? The two girls. They are so beautiful. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, any more ca cameos on the Big Bang Theory? No, but I want every one of you to write a letter to the producer. <laughs> but I do have another one in The Simpsons in January. Watch The Simpsons in January, and you'll see me again steal the show. <laughs> oh. Who's your favorite supervillain that you ever created? Well, if I was smart, I'd say the guy in the Mighty Seven, of course. Um, I love them all. I kind of am, I'm a little bit partial to Dr. Doom. Now, one of the reasons is, all he really wants to do, as you know, he wants to rule the world. Now, let me ask you, you can walk up to any policeman in any city and you can say, excuse me, officer, I'd like to rule the world. He can't arrest you. It's not a crime. So Dr. Doom is not really a criminal. <laughs> oh, what are your plans for continuing the Marvel anime universe? Uh, I plan to keep doing it as long as they'll give me bits to whack in. But wait a minute, I got a question. Make sure, with all these questions, that they haven't forgotten. Ask them if they remember the name of the show. What's the name of this movie? Yeah. 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 Did every one of them get it right? A couple people got it wrong, but right. I, I took their names. Go ahead. Would you take a picture with her? Are you doing photo signings anywhere? I think I just did. I'm sure I'm going to oh, do some so more. I, I don't know what the schedule so is, but if you ask no. around, yeah, I'll be doing photos and I'll be doing signing. and I'm just a plaything for the people here. <laughs> you want to get down Yesterday you revealed Zodiac. Any Zodiac Mighty Seven crossovers? Yeah, there's, we always have crossovers, but it's not planned now. First, I got to figure out the legal aspects to that, and you'll handle that. We'll do crossovers with everybody. I think George Lucas probably can't wait to be a part of this, but he's got to be patient. <laughs> okay, one more. Okay, last one. Who's who's the character? Who's the character? Moon Knight. Moon Knight. Moon Knight, like he's a Marvel character, I think, but I don't, I don't have any idea who he. Any character that I didn't make up, I know nothing about, and care even less. <laughs> <laughs> I got enough to worry about my own guys. <laughs> okay, one more, one more, one more, one more. All right, this is going to be a challenge. Go ahead. If you could try, that's a good question to end with. If you could travel back in time 30 years, what would you tell yourself, Stan? What would I what? What would you tell yourself? I tell myself I, I wish it was 30 years later so I could be talking to all you people about Stan Lee's Mighty Seven, which will be on the Hub Network, and if you miss it, you'll have to answer to me. Hey, thank you. And by the way, in case I forgot to tell you, Excelsior! Thank you all.